Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon, and never miss another update from Almighty Java. This is part 2 of Simple CAPTCHA to the login page, if you have not watched the previous video then please watch it. As you knew we implemented Simple CAPTCHA to the login page with a condition like if the user enters wrong credentials then after third time CAPTCHA will appear but we have not added any code related to CAPTCHA validation. In this video. We will see how can we validate CAPTCHA with the help of Spring Security. Let's start. Just a brief demo whatever we implemented till the last video. So enter wrong credentials three times and see CAPTCHA is coming or not. See CAPTCHA is coming. So now if you enter correct credentials with the wrong CAPTCHA still allowed to log in. Let's log out and let's see how to validate CAPTCHA using Spring Security. We created CAPTCHA details class to keep answer in CAPTCHA. CAPTCHA is like which generated by simple CAPTCHA library and answer is what user enters and it contains one constructor which contains HTTP servlet request and setter getter. Nothing complicated just kind of simple class. Let's create a new class under CAPTCHA package. To make it simple class name CAPTCHA details source. Need to implement interface called authentication details source. Click on finish. Add an implemented method. Replace T with CAPTCHA details, and C with HTTP servlet request. Do same with method T and C. So we'll return CAPTCHA details object and inside constructor will pass context. So this object creation will initialize answer and CAPTCHA variable. Nothing complicated just simple. That's it for this class. Let's create one more class called CAPTCHA authentication provider. It extends a class called DAO authentication provider. Click on finish. Now need to add some modification in Spring Security configuration also so let's open this class also. Let's cut it password encoder method and paste it inside CAPTCHA authentication provider. Later we will modify the remaining code. Now need to override set user detail service. Not much change is required just add password encoder as well. Annotate this method as auto wired. Now this is the very important part. So there is a method inside DAO authentication provider called additional authentication checks which will help us to validate the caption name itself explaining the definition. So let's override this method. Authentication get details method returns an object. Now just try to understand this code. It's not very complicated.
So this is part where I am validating user entered capsule value. So if not equal then throw insufficient authentication exception. That's it. Now let's add required changes in Spring Security Configuration file. As we already removed password encoder so removed related code. User Detail Service also we auto wired and CAPTCHA authentication provider class. So remove this also, and instead of that, we will use a CAPTCHA authentication provider. See it's simple. One small change also required. Create one private variable for CAPTCHA details source. Annotate this with auto wired. Now after form login there is a method called authentication the details source there we need to add this variable. As I said earlier it's not straightforward. Now for CAPTCHA details source need to create being so open application class. That's it. Let's run and see it's working or not. One exception. It's related to the CAPTCHA authentication provider. So we need to annotate this class as a component. Let's add required annotation. Let's run again. See now server started. Let's check CAPTCHA validation also happening or not. First, we will enter the wrong CAPTCHA. Oops exception let's fix. It's coming we copy pasted same code like register method. Because now the scenario is different. So instead of setting directly answer we need to set CAPTCHA object. So remove get an answer. Ok, it will auto restart. Let's try again. Enter the wrong CAPTCHA. See it is not allowing to login if you enter the wrong CAPTCHA. The only thing is error message is not proper, but that we'll see some other video. Let's try with correct CAPTCHA value. See it's working. Let's review whatever we added. I already checked in my changes, which you can find under the same repository. I will show you. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel.
Thanks for watching.